Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to teach like a pro. Now, this looks like a very simple topic and I used to just think like that it is very simple to teach because you know the technology and that's all about it. But I was totally wrong. And I felt it up, uh, I felt about that I was wrong about uh, the teaching is so much easy after taking a workshop and uh, that workshop was related to photography. And I want to discuss about these things. So in my early days, you might have noticed that uh, my content was good, my content was awesome and I used to know a lot about technology like Python, pen testing, app development and a kind of other stuff as well. But my delivery was not up to the mark and uh, uh, I just admit that, that I, I never thought about it. I, all, I, all I was caring about is simply that how I know the technology and that's about it. But I was completely wrong and I realized it a little bit later. And uh, as you always, as you, you know, the stuff that uh, to solve a problem, the first step is to recognize that there is one problem. That's, that's the major step. And I never knew that this problem was there. And I actually now I feel that uh, some teacher are struggling because students don't like them or maybe they are not delivering the content. They know a lot of stuff and uh, all such stuff. And uh, what is the problem that they are facing? The first problem that they are facing is uh, that they are not knowing that there is a one problem, that they are not delivering the engaging content and stuff. So how I realized that? So uh, let me share it with you that first of all, uh, around three or four years back, I was really good in technology, especially in the Python, pen testing stuff and web development. And I thought, let's make some videos and online courses for that. And I did that. It was really great. A lot of people loved my courses and everything, but I was not getting the enough uh, attention of the viewer. And somehow I was not happy with my courses. The technology was awesome. Uh, the course was well prepared, uh, everything was so good about it. Uh, but then I realized that one thing that I'm lagging around is delivering the content in such an awesome and professional way that I'm delivering it now. And how do I realize it? Uh, recently, uh, about almost seven or eight months back or almost a year back, I went up for a workshop. So I was getting a little bit bored. I was making a lot of content videos and some projects from Upwork and freelance. And then I realized that uh, I need to take some hobby and uh, I went ahead and looked up for some workshop uh, on the photography and you might have noticed my content creation making my video stuff so everything is growing upon uh, because I like to challenge myself. So I went on to the workshop for a Lightroom workshop. It was awesome and uh, I joined in. I was completely new in that. Uh, although I'm a tech guy, I know softwares and stuff. It's very comfortable for me, but I went on to the Lightroom stuff. And then I thought, hey, why not to join a Lightroom workshop? And I thought my photos going to be look awesome and I'm going to be learning it so quickly. Uh, the moment I saw the instructor, he was a very, very experienced one. And he started to deliver that. And he was doing so awesome job with all of his photos, color corrections, uh, their uh, ISO adjustments and then, uh, then the skin adjustments and everything was so awesome. And I was like, hey, that's so cool. I can do that. When I opened up the Lightroom and I tried to did that, that was the toughest thing I ever even imagined. So then I thought about, hey, what's wrong going on with it? He was doing it so awesomely and I'm not able to do it. And then I suddenly strikes, uh, it strike to my mind that, hey, uh, even my students might be feeling the same. Uh, for me, developing an iOS app is so much cool. I can do it with the flow, with the go. It's no problem at all. But when student might be doing the same thing, it might be some uh, trouble with that. And I need to actually rethink all the things uh, that I'm delivering and I'm teaching. And that is the point when I realized that how I should teach, uh, keeping in mind that student might be a new beginner because still uh, it has been almost a long time, but still I'm not getting very good in the Lightroom. And the same thing might be happening with the people who are learning the HTML and CSS. So I thought, hey, uh, let's just flush it out all the things and let's just start with a fresh mind, fresh concept, fresh boot camps, re-curriculum design and pretty much everything. And uh, then I thought about uh, what are the problems that student might be facing, what are the common questions student might be facing, and uh, how I can deliver in such an engaging manner 
that student might feel that, hey, all the problems that we are going to face, we are going to solve that. And that's the thing when I realized that how should I deliver my content. And I would like to say a few words to all the people who are already teacher. Now, you are a teacher. That's great. That's awesome. But you need to understand that you need to focus a lot on teaching as well. Because teaching itself is a different art. The reason why students love some subject in the high school and some not is all because of the teacher. All the subjects are good, but that's all about the aura of the teacher, how the teacher is delivering the content. It's all about it. Believe me, it's the toughest thing. Knowing the technology is pretty much easy, but delivering the technology in such an easy and precise manner is the toughest job in the world. You can trust me on that. And after that, I actually thought that uh, the amount of time that I'm going to be preparing for exercise files, the curriculum design uh, for entire course that I, I will be recording, I'll be focusing equal amount on the engaging delivery as well. That's super important for me now. So I take the notes all the way along that what are the problems that usually not I'm going to be facing, but what a beginner can face. I look around all the ways, all the commas that you can misinterpret, uh, all the wrong installation that you can do for my technical stuff and uh, related other things. So definitely I would say all the teachers out there that somehow you are doing something wrong there and that is why you are not getting that engaging delivery. It helped me a lot and it's always good to admit the things where you are wrong. Just admit that because once you're going to admit that, you're going to evolve. That's the whole point here. So these are some of my few tips to all the teachers out there and along with the students as well uh, that a lot of efforts is being made in putting the course content and everything. Uh, make sure that you always keep in mind always uh, I'm making sure that I'm I'm delivering my content in much more engaging manner uh, much more precise and everything is neat clean and smooth out there so I hope really it helped uh, this video really helps some of you out there and in case you want to tag your teacher along with this so that he can actually learn a little bit about and in case in the future as well I'll be posting more videos about the teaching tips and other as, as well because I think uh, the number of problem that most of the people are facing is not finding the good and the correct teachers as well. Let me know in the comments down below that uh, what are the subjects you loved in the high school and was the teacher was the reason about uh, you loved the subject or not. So let's discuss it in the comment down below. Make sure you post down your comment there. And if you like the video, give, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, no hard feeling. I'll try even better. I'll catch you up in the next video.